Alright y'all, this is my first video, um, pardon the stumbling, I'm not used to uh, sitting by myself chatting at a computer, uh, I'm used to talking with people, uh, sorry for having some rambling, uh, I apparently say uh, a lot, so you're just gonna have to either get used to that or I'm gonna have to quit doing it, right? So the reason I started this video is to welcome y'all to my world, my reality, my perspective. Uh, we all got our own opinions, and this is just my opinion. It's uh, based on what I see, how I see, and I think that me coming out here and just putting it on YouTube gets it off my chest. You know, I feel like I did my part and try to let some people know about it, it being how I feel. Uh, I have feelings about every topic, so feel free to ask me a question. I'll check it out, and if you get a topic that I'm versed in, or I believe I know I'm right about, so I'll let you know about it. You know, my feeling and my opinion about it. You know, I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm saying that, in my opinion, I'm right. Because I don't think that I'm going to be telling you, thinking I'm going to lie to you, you know? So... Yeah, you know, what I say is what I say because I feel like it's uh, my honest feeling. So, all that crap out of the way, uh, I'll just jump straight up to uh, Sandy Hook BS. Um, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, they're locking our kids down. Uh, the school that got shot up um, had the security protocol that's now being put across the nation where they can lock our kids down. Now everybody's like, hey, you know, that's safe for our kids, you know, thank God they're protecting our kids, you know. Yeah, I'd be the same way if I felt like that's what was really happening, but like uh, they say, believe half of what you hear and none of what you see, you know. Sorry about that bush, bush lapse right there. Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. If you hear it, don't believe it. It's bullshit. If you see it, believe half of it. Don't believe what your first assumption is about what you saw. You know, stop and analyze it yourself. Think. I mean, for God's sake, you're a human being. You're smart. You're intelligent. Use your brain a little bit. Don't listen to everybody else telling you what you need to think and how you need to think. Sandra Hook is a conspiracy or whatever you want to call it. A hoax whatever uh war game testing mass manipulation is what i like to call it because that's all it really is is mass manipulation whether it was true to form and really happened or if it was faked and it didn't happen the way that it said at all you know, either way it goes the they again they whoever they are um manipulate the media and get them to pump it out to the masses. Y'all sheeple and the kidiots and all the other morons that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. You know who you are. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you just hear what they say and you're like, hey, this is gospel truth. You know, I heard it on the radio. I heard it on TV. Oh, I saw it on YouTube. This guy was talking about it. It must be true. Oh, you know, that's not the way it is. You know, use your own brain. You know, think about it. Um... This Sandy Hook thing's not gun control policy. This is uh, what a lot of people like to say. It's gun control policy. It's not gun control policy. It's not just to scare you either. It's to make you feel secure. That's what they want to do is make you feel secure. Make you feel like they did the right job. They did it how it was supposed to be done. But the problem with that, y'all, is they're locking our kids down. What they're doing is going to trap all of our kids and hold them against us our will keep our kids from us then we will have to listen to them because I mean honestly the difference in my life between having a child and not having a child is before I wouldn't have even killed nobody not even saved my own life to be honest about it you could have walked up to me and stabbed me you know I ain't gonna kill you back I don't care you know or try to kill you whatever you know what I'm saying it was what it was now that I have a child in this world I will kill you if you mess with my children period I mean you know it is what it is and these mugs are installing all these security cameras and all these button sensors and facial recognitions to make you feel secure about your kids. <laughs> Come on.
Look at everything. You really trust these fools with your kids? Think about it, people. Think about it. It's insane. You need to watch out for your children is what I'm bringing up in this video. Is your kids are on lockdown. Your kids are being watched. Your kids are being given computers with microphones and videos to listen to everything you do at your house. To watch everything they can see. To learn your patterns and your algorithms. To find out what kind of a character or personality you are. See if you're a threat, a non-threat. See how easy it is to take you and your family down. That's what it's about, y'all. <laughs> Just sitting back and just let it happen. Which is funny because you know about um, well hell I can tell you the exact date. It was September fifteenth, two thousand one. I sat there. I was watching like everybody else was, you know, intently on the TV. Oh my God, we're the terrorists, right? Well, it dawned on me that was concrete. Concrete don't burn. Think about that. If concrete doesn't burn, how the did the buildings burn down? I'm just saying, you know, things aren't what they say it is. So, think about these things. And I'll see y'all next time.